Turkana County Government is one of the 47 devolved units created by the Constitution of Kenya 2010 to decentralize government functions from the national government to the grassroots. After four years of devolution, the face of Turkana has been transformed with the people enjoying fruits of government for first time in over four decades since Kenya's independence. <laughs> These are the stories of the transformation of Turkana by the Turkana County Government under the leadership of His Excellency Governor Josephat Kony Nanok. <laughs> The biggest milestone in five years of devolution has been witnessed in the health sector. Significant investments has led to phenomenal improvements on infrastructure, increase in health personnel. 180 new health facilities have been constructed, equipped, and existing sub-county health facilities refurbished. The Lodwa Referral Hospital is a perfect model for this province. Lodwa County Referral Hospital is the main referral unit for the entire of Turkana County. It serves a population of 1.3 million people of 222 facilities. It has a bed capacity of 201. Currently it's a level 4 facility that in due course, after an assessment by Kenya Medical Practitioner and Dentist Board team, it's going to be upgraded to level 5 facility. We have a human resource network of 293 staff. Before devolution, the distance between one facility to the other, it was a, a, a whooping 55 kilometers. I think because of the effort of the county government, we have constructed close to 158, 160 facilities. That distance has been reduced to 20 kilometers. And Lodo County and Referral Hospital gets all that catchment population. People who have traveled from all distances to access specialized services. To me, that one means devolution has actually hit the critical element of an effective health care. In a bid to further decentralize county services and getting government services closer to the people, Turkana County government from 2013 embarked on construction and equipping sub-county and ward administrators' offices in the eight sub-counties and 30 wards, from Kibish to Kainuk and Lokichogyo to Kapendo. An investment of over 300 million shillings was spent in the construction of the administrators' offices, all in a bid to take the government closer to the people. In the first four years, the county government has constructed and equipped over 180 ECDE centers, which is six modern facilities in each of the 30 wards. 
This is in addition to other 60 centers currently under construction, with the aim being to increase access to pre-primary schooling in rural and urban areas. Kwanza sisi tunataka kuwashukuru kama wasasi ya Lukchogyo. Hawa watoto wetu wanapata chakula, eh, wanapata vitabu na walimu wao pia tunashukuru. Wameajiriwa na county government. Kwa hivyo sisi kama wasasi community tunashukuru sana. Ukiangalia kuna madarasa pia county government imetujengea especially hapa ni AIZ Lukchogyo Mix. Uh, kuna dining hall imemalizika ukiangalia ile vitu yote ya, ya ECD uh, a credit we give to our excellence the president of the county government Turkana county ile ambayo imetusaidia Uh, in Juluk ECD Center, the enrollment now is 149 children that we have in the center. And this is because of the uh, construction of the new ECD Center in this community. And the community were very happy with it and they appreciated because their children used to go far away from this place. Kanan ECD, and Kanan ECD is about four kilometers from this community. Their children now are getting a good education. They are getting food that they appreciate so much. To me also, as an ECD teacher, I appreciate the county government because since I was trained as an ECD teacher, I've never been employed somewhere. I've been volunteering in the church ECD centers. But when the count devolution government started, now I'm enjoying the fruits of the devolution. I'm also receiving the learning materials from the county government, which, is, which helps me run smoothly in my center. I appreciate the county governor of Turkana uh, Honorable Jospat Kolinano for the good work that he has been doing to the community of Turkana, especially in this community that I am now. They appreciate his work very much. This institution was started in 1976 by Catholic Diocese of Lodo. In 2013, it was taken up by the county government, so it is under devolved function of the county government of Turkana. But when county government came in in 2013, we saw a new development. We have 10 courses. Before there were just six, but now there are 10. We have also improved the enrollment, whereby county government and CDF as at now are sponsoring 40 students. Our school is now one of the most developed institutions. On the side of tools, the county government has uh, put tools. Also, the county government has employed teachers, which has improved the quality of training. I had a passion about electricity ever since I was young. I chose Lodo Vocational Training Center because it's a, a conducive area for learning. All equipments are available. They are going to be very highly competitive because they have acquired the best skills using the best equipments, maybe not found anywhere within 
the county and the country across. Turkana University College was gazetted and inaugurated on 27th of January 2017. Masinda Mliro University of Science and Technology was asked by the governor to mentor a university college within the county. The establishment of this university college is a very significant step in addressing historical injustices and therefore opening up a university and opening up education opportunities in Trukana is really a significant step in making sure that the county is integrated with the entire country. At the moment, we have about 490 students in various courses and much of their school fees is paid by the county government. We want to establish this university as a hot spot for generation of new knowledge and generation of new ideas. Soko hii yetu jinsi tunavyojua kwamba ilifunguliwa uh, tarehe 29 June 2015 uh, mara ya kwanza sisi tulikuwa tukiuza bidhaa zetu kule barabarani lakini kwa sababu ya serikali hii yetu kuweza kutusaidia na pia kutujali uh, wameweza kutujengea hii soko na tumeingia ndani na jinsi tunavyoona sasa biashara imeshika na kazi inaendelea vizuri sana kitu cha kwanza kabla tutakuja hapa kwa soko tulikuwa na usio kwa barabara tulikuwa tunakaa hali ya hatari hata tungeweza kukongwa na gari kwa sababu tulikuwa sikwisi kwa barabara hata kama tulikuwa napata mapato mazuri kusukuma tena hiyo vitu kuweka ilikuwa tena stress kidogo mahali pa kutoa kwa barabara tena upeleke penye unapeleka ilikuwa ni mbali lakini baadaye hiyo walikuja account ilikuja ikatuchengea soko ikaamua kututoa kwa barabara watulete mahali hapa tulishukuru kaunti ya Turkana atisti ni sana kama itaendelea vile tunaendelea baba hii sijaona mgogoro yote sijaona vita yote tangu nikuje hapa atisti tumekaa vizuri na wao na atisti naombea mwenye anaongoza endelee kuongoza hivi atisti tutakuwa na maisha mazuri baadaye na iko na faida Greening Turkana County is one of the flagship projects in our Turkana County integrated plan and therefore by implementing it the ministry began it initiated the project of uh, raising tree nurseries in the all wards so this tree nursery is just but an example of the other 30 tree nurseries in different wards in Turkana County for us to achieve greening Turkana County, we had to do it holistically by initiating into the 30 wards. And this is, there is much work that is involved under the leadership of Nanok by making sure that there is always a follow-up of the flagship project. Not only the flagship project, but the, most of the project that is needed. Construction of county roads and rehabilitation of existing infrastructure was one of the evolved functions of the county government. In Turkana, the focus on devolution in this sector aimed at opening up the county for business and investment. In Lodwe town, six kilometers of Tamak Road was constructed and an additional four kilometers carrier junction to Bonglore stretch is nearing completion. In addition to this, the government has graded and marammed 4,623 kilometers of county roads, which were previously just earth roads. 
These are 92% of our county road being transformed to all weather conditions. Achieving food security has been a key pillar of the county government's development in agriculture. 43 irrigation schemes have been revived and rehabilitated, all bringing more than 16,800 acres of land under irrigation, agriculture and farming. This is inclusive of the three new schemes initiated and seven old schemes rehabilitated by the county government. A total of 3.4 billion shillings has been spent to support food production. Water shortage remains a huge challenge. However, tremendous progress has been witnessed in the first term of Governor Josphat Kole Nanok Rain. In 2013, only slightly over 30,000 households had access to clean potable water with the integration and development of new water sources and rehabilitation of existing water supply systems. This number has been doubled with over 60,000 households now with access to clean water. Since the time when we had a new dawn in terms of devolved government, we have been able to create 270 number of bowls. Most of these bowls, high yielding ones, have been solarized. In Lodwa town in itself, we have been able to create uh, more than 10 kilometer water piping system. In other towns that are outside Lodwa, on average, we've been able to create uh, water, pi water, water piping of five kilometers on average. This has involved sinking of 145 new boreholes, rehabilitation of more than 100 previously ran down, as well as construction of more than 100 new water pumps for livestock use. And uh, this has helped us to increase access to water uh, for livestock in various areas in the county where we have a higher number of livestock. So we have been keeping on in water tracking, especially when there's drought. And as a result, we've been able to serve the pastoral community. We've also been able to serve communities that, that, that live in areas with inadequate access to water. We've been able to, to, to reach out to institutions like our health facilities, the schools that we have been, the, 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 both primary and secondary. And uh, this has also helped us to increase access to water, especially when there's a drought.
Trade and tourism have been key sectors in the county government transformative agenda. Through partnership with the UNDP under the Delivery as One program, Turkana County Biashara Center was established as a center for information on investment opportunities in the county, as well as an incubation and training center. Turkana County, tumekuja zote pamoja ili tuweze kuzindua mpango mmoja wa maendeleo ambayo tuliahidi watu wa kaunti hii na tukiwa tukishirikiana pamoja na umoja la kimataifa la UNDP tumewezesha kuweka chumba hichi cha biashara na lile chumba la biashara litakuwa na maneno mengi yale machache yako saa hii hiyo ni mwanzo tu hiyo bado ni kidogo kabisa mengi yataongezwa Eight new modern trade markets have been constructed and in Lodwa, the CBD market was renovated with improved wear shelves, better hygiene standards, and ample of loading and parking space. The county government has tirelessly worked to promote Turkana as a preferred tourism destination. The campaign to market Turkana as the origin of mankind has certainly been boosted by ecological discoveries on early man. Turkana is the origin of mankind, so all of you are really likely to visit where you originated from. We have various products in Turkana, including archaeological products, cultural products, nature and wildlife, and adventure, which is the one you're really highly promoting for today. <laughs> Turkana is a cradle of mankind and that visitors can be able to come and visit and reconnect with the origins. We are working on the Science Park project jointly with other stakeholders to make that dream realized and for the Science Park to be not only a county project but a national key project that should be implemented for the purposes of boosting the numbers of tourism in Kenya. After four years of devolution, the face of Turkana has been transformed with the people enjoying fruits of government for first time in over four decades since Kenya's independence.